There's been a major breakthrough in federal funding for a critical infrastructure project in Queensland. Lauren Forbes joins us live. Lauren, the Sunshine Coast Railway extension will now go ahead. That's right, Pete. Reports this morning have emerged that that project, which is critical to the Brisbane 2032 Olympic Games, will, has been given the go-ahead after locking in federal funding. Now, there were doubts that that Sunshine Coast Railway extension just north of Brisbane was on the chopping board. And that's after the Albanese government retracted uh, funding for infrastructure projects as costs spiral out of control. Now, that long-standing 80-20 federal funding split with the state government uh, was retreated, uh, re replaced with a 50-50 split. And that really uh, cast doubt on a number of projects across Queensland here, including the $6 billion upgrade to the Bruce Highway, as well as this railway extension from Birrawat to Maroochydore. But this morning, the Korea, the Korea Mail is reporting that that railway station has, uh, extension rather, has been given the go-ahead. And that's after the Deputy Premier Stephen Miles led a convoy to Canberra yesterday to lobby the Infrastructure Minister, Catherine King. It was never our expectation that we'd be able to come here and convince the government to abandon everything in their review. So we understood that was the case. What we were able to do was outline the number of topics that were of particular concern for Queensland. Now, Pete, the Commonwealth, uh, after those chats, have reserved $1.4 billion for the project. They've also put aside $160 million for business planning and modelling for that project. But it is still unclear exactly how much that project will cost and what the split will be between the state and federal government. Lauren Forbes, thank you.